Hey, I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery, and today we're going to learn how to do a mailbox huggy. What is a mailbox huggy? Well, it's a really neat piece of greenery that has a frame on the bottom and a hook. And what you do is this folds over the top of your mailbox and then hooks underneath. So you can add some Christmas cheer for your mailman. So what we're going to do is we're going to a lot of people just like to do your traditional red bow on there. That is beautiful. Classic, you can never go wrong. But what we're going to do today is we're going to add some mesh to it. Now this is more of like a fabric mesh and I'm just going to um, pinch it on the end. I'll trim this off when we get done. I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to come over to the end of my huggy. I'm going to tie it on with a piece of greenery. I want it to hang down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna roll it under just like we make our mesh wreaths. So make sure you check out our puffy mesh wreath tutorial. So I'm gonna do a puff. You notice I'm rolling the sides under. I'm gonna push it forward a little bit because I want to hide that greenery if I can, but no big deal if I can't. I'm going to take another piece, roll it around. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to make my puff, roll it under, come down to my next piece of greenery, hook it on, and then I'm going to come down and do one more. Wrap that piece of greenery around, and then I'm going to cut off at the end. You can just see I'm just pinching it together and cutting. So now I want to add my bow. And because this is the buffalo check, a little bit more country feel to it, I'm going to add a hobo that has some cardinal ribbon, some of your traditional red velvet. I love the pop of black and white. And I'm just going to set this directly in the middle of my huggy. So I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to wrap it around the entire huggy. Now make sure you check out our tutorial on how to make a hobo. Going to twist that. Then I want to make sure that I have streamers that go off on both sides. So I'm going to separate them and I have them at all different lengths. So I'm going to take two of my longest ones and pull it to this side. I'm going to take the other two long ones, pull it to this side. Then I have another link. Length. They're going to go on this side. And I'm just going to keep going until I've spread them all around. Then I'm going to fluff my bow back up. And now, I'm ready to add it to my mailbox. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, I still like using, I always love the classic red velvet. I'm going to tuck up underneath my bow. I'm just going to add the piece of greenery to hold it on. I'm going to follow right where I've tied with my mesh. I'm going to use a little piece of that greenery, tie that on here. I'm going to let this come down, but I actually want to have two streamers hanging off of this end. So I'm going to cut one more the same length. I'm going to go back, tie this on. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to pinch, come underneath, tie this on, follow where I've done my mesh. Hook the ribbon. My next streamer. Tuck it in so you don't see that. 
and that's just one more step to make your mailbox huggy fancy. So thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.